Good afternoon traders and welcome to another Trade Ideas and Pre-New York Analysis on Gold today the 9th of October 2023. So if you haven't already checked out the weekly market outlook on the calendar uh, I advise you to go back and listen to that because it will go over in a bit more detail over what I'm going to brush over now in terms of what's happened over the weekend going into today's session and that is the basically the oil prices had cooled off coming into the end of the week and we'd seen nearly a 13% fall in oil prices which was looking good for inflation we also were seeing um go on gold we were seeing support being formed at uh currently after like a nine day bearish run so coming into the weekend we also had uh, unexpected payrolls come out from nfp so they were better than expected so that had a bit of a play on the market as well uh, so bulls came out um in light of that so that was where we saw initial bulls coming and taking control of the what has been a very bearish two weeks so at the close we it was uh, all well and good and then we had the news break out of the, of the israeli war now on market open we can see that we had this massive uh, open up here so we literally like that was a i don't know if that was that a 2000 pit move is that a 2000 pit move is it yeah 200 pit move like pretty pretty crazy um move there on the open and then we've literally just been ranging um all morning so just been stuck in this in this range um all, all morning session because obviously we've had such an explosive move and now the markets are waiting to see uh what action is going to be taken whether there's going to be any escalation or things like that okay so away from that um we also have some parts of the united states uh, observing bank holiday so it's going to be interesting to see what takes sh shape today because we're not going to have um, any as much market flow as we would typically see um, if it was a non um, bank holiday so if I just pull the calendar up again so we've got a uh, dollar bank holiday here um, and we've also had uh, a bank holiday in Tokyo as well today so no cash uh, no cash market in Tokyo today as well um, so this kind of has fueled into um, potentially today being um, very slow and tentative because they're not only waiting for um, like the president and people to speak and um, show their hand in terms of what they're going to do in terms of this conflict, but also we've got FOMC members speaking later on today. So we've got FOMC members, Jefferson and Mann speaking much later today out of out of my session anyway so it's not something i've got to worry about but just in terms of a macro perspective and what might be playing out in the in the session today for me is i've got to be um aware that potentially at what would normally be um new york open that there might not be as much volume there and we potentially won't see that volume come into to, into effect until tomorrow um so it's just something we're going to have to do, as we always do. We let the market show us what it wants to do, and then we act accordingly. And if our entry model presents, then we execute that entry model, and you know that's how we go it. But we have to be aware of these things so that we can understand. Okay, well, I've not had any trade today, and price action has been very sideways. Um, so you know, I'm not expecting too much today because because of these things stacked on top of each other. So. Outside of that, let's just quickly take a look at what I'd potentially be looking at. So even before um, the war was announced at the weekend, I was favouring buys. So longs were my fav my favoured uh, going into today, would have been going into today's session, longs. Uh, but saying that, you know, shorts could play out as well. So we just have to be a little bit more mindful on shorts and see how the... See how the Price action presents itself, and if it presents an entry model to take a short, we take a short. If it takes presents and for a long, we take a long. But yeah, favouring longs overall. So obviously these candles are you know pretty small at the moment, but 
I'd be ideally pushing down uh, if we get a weak close here on this 12 o'clock candle. Uh, if we get a weak close, price action trading down towards this 1848 level, looking to get long uh, from here or you know further push down. Uh, like I said, I'm getting favor and longs anyway so we don't necessarily have to trade to these levels but um yeah these are these levels would be nice um this this level here 1841 probably not, not even going to be interested in that because we had zero reaction to it um going through it so um i'd possibly be more inclined to trading back to the 1834s um that would be a, a nice level to get long but like i say that's a that's a long way doubt we're going to get down there um so yeah so longs from there shorts Ideally, if it pushed up again, up into this 1855-50 level um, would be a great area to, to look to get short, uh, taking out uh, morning session highs into this level. I'd possibly be inclined to think that it's going to take this opening candle high as well. Uh, that would be a very um, nice setup for shorts if, if we've got something present in line with those. But pretty straightforward today. We've just got to wait for... Wait for the open, let the price action show us what it wants to do, if it wants to do anything. And if the entry model presents, take it. And if it doesn't, we sit on our hands and we come back tomorrow. So well, that's been a good one. Any questions, drop them down in the comments below. Smash that like button as well if you find this insightful. And I'll catch you in the next one.